Hi, I'm Charlie from LHU Libraries. Today we're going to be talking about searching for and using electronic books or ebooks here at the library. It's easier than you think, so let's get started. LHU Libraries have a significant number of physical books, over 200,000 in fact. But if you're a distance learner or simply are not on campus as much as you would like to be, you'll want to check out our ebook collection. We've got around 200,000 online books as well, and they're available 24-7. So, let's say you're doing a search on the library website. Your topic is for a biology class, invertebrates. Although we usually recommend using the advanced search option, we'll just do a basic search here to keep things simple. Upon searching, we get a large number of results, but we can easily limit them to electronic books by scrolling down on the left side of the page. Click Show More, then scroll down on the pop-up, click eBooks, and then Update. Your search results are now limited to just electronic books. Our books come from a few different providers, but you will always have the option to read any book immediately. One way is to simply click on the book title and scroll down. You'll usually see the table of contents and other information such as chapter headings. Click here, for example, to go to chapter 3. The text appears on the right side. You can now make adjustments to taste. You can hide the left menu, make text larger or smaller, fit to page width, or fit to page. You can change the page by clicking on the blue chevrons or simply hit the forward or backward arrow on your keyboard. Aside from their 24-7 access, another advantage of ebooks is the ability to search inside them. Click here. Now, let's search for sponges. You immediately see a listing of all the places the word appears in the book. Click any of them to be taken right there. You can also make and save notes in your EBSCOhost account by clicking here. If you don't have an account but would like to learn more, check out our tutorial on how and why to create one. Finally, if you want to save the book to read later, you can download it. Depending on the vendor, the loan period may vary, but once the borrowing time is up, you never have to remember to return it to the library. It will simply disappear from your computer. After we've clicked Download, you will see this menu, or a variation. In order to read the book in downloaded form, you'll likely need to install the free Adobe Digital Edition software. And you should also have the My EBSCOhost account that we mentioned above. If you don't already have Adobe Digital Editions, just click here. The process is simple. Once you have it, click to verify and download. We'll close this menu and then go to downloads. Click Open, and the book should open in Adobe Digital Editions. Unfortunately, we have seen students who occasionally experience difficulty downloading ebooks. If at any point you are having trouble, just contact one of the LHU Library's librarians. Always remember, though, that instead of downloading an ebook to your computer or device, you can always read it live online by using the built in interface that comes with your search result. This is the easiest and for many people the most effective way of accessing ebooks. So remember, if you're off campus and don't have immediate access to our physical collections, or if you just want to search our electronic book holdings, you can always opt to limit your searching to ebooks. They're available 24 7, completely searchable once you're inside them, and you never have to remember to bring them back to the library. Well, that's it for now. I'm Charlie from LHU Libraries. Thanks for watching.